Hello and welcome back to another Satisfactory playthrough episode. This is, I believe, episode 12, but actually it should have been episode 14 and I'm going to explain in a second. You'll notice that our little factory looks very different than it did in the last episode. And that's because I actually recorded two previous episodes, which would have been 12 and 13. Unfortunately, the audio is messed up in both of those episodes, so all of it is useless. And I'm going to explain everything I did in those two episodes, but that's why the bass looks so different. Um, we're going to go ahead and recap what I did in those two episodes and then jump into this episode, which is now going to be episode 12. Um, so with that, let's get into the recap first. All right, let's jump right into the recap. And I just wanted to show you that if I go to save game, you can see that I did record those two previous episodes, 12 and 13. So this would have been 14. Uh, not that it matters anymore. This is going to be the new 12. So I'll probably replace those two game files. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the recap. So what happened was I knew that I needed to modify the layout of our iron line because I wanted to build more screws and it was getting impossible to do that with the space that we had. We ran out of room and so I mentioned in a maybe a couple episodes uh, before the last one that eventually we would have to go vertical. So that's what I did in the last two episodes that will, won't be uploaded that were destroyed because of the audio. I basically started laying out this foundation and then thinking about how I wanted to organize it. And what I ended up doing was relaying out the miners so that they kind of feed out to the belts this way. And I decided that everything would flow from that end to this end. So that's what you've got. You've got the belts coming from the miners. I also did add the third miner because I think in the beginning we only had two. Or I should say um, we had two in the last episode. So now we have three. And then we have three belts coming down uh, up into the building from that end, which is right now just open-ended and each of those belts then feeds into two smelters each and that's just to match the flow since the smelters uh, go through 30 ore per second uh, the belt carries 60 per second and so that would keep a constant flow there i then had two constructors here making plates um, and then two constructors here making rods and these two constructors are actually also making rods right now but would eventually feed into screws um, i haven't decided yet how the rest of this is going to look i was thinking to leave this open space here for future expansion and build the second floor the second floor would have more complicated parts so the first floor I was thinking to reserve for the simplest parts, which are just plates and rods. And then on the second floor, we would put everything that comes down line from that. Um, this would also give me room to expand if we want to add more smelters, for example. Uh, we could move these two constructors up this way and then add another line of smelters since we do have more... Um, we do have another iron mine out there. You can kind of see it from here. So that iron mine could feed in even more ore. Um, and so again, we would have this room for expansion. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so I started building up the walls on either side and you can see that's where the second floor is gonna be. I had to build it pretty high because of the smelters. Um, so it's like a triple wall height. And that, yeah, everything is at a halt right now. Um, the copper line's still going. That's making wire. Uh, the concrete lighting is still going. I actually filled up an entire storage container with concrete. So I added a second one to the end there so I can just keep producing. Because we are going to need a lot of building materials. 
And of course, um, we've got the solid biofuel being produced way at the end over there. Uh, but as far as the iron line goes, everything is halted and you can see the assemblers are not running. I'll probably take those down uh, and then rearrange them somewhere else, maybe out there. So let's, uh, yeah, that's it for the recap and let's get into this episode. Okay, this is perfect. The sun is coming up. We got a beautiful sunrise on our hands. And we're going to go ahead and get started with this episode. And we're, we're still, you know, I spent probably over an hour building what's here in front of you right now. But we've got a ways to go before this iron line is back up and running. So I hope uh, you'll be patient with me. But these next two episodes that I'm going to release are probably all going to be building related. And I want to resume by building out this second floor. Now luckily we have a ton of concrete, so I'm going to go stock up on some right now. Because we've only got about 40 in our stash. So let's get a bunch more. Okay, there's 400. It's funny, I realize like this game is, the physics doesn't exactly add up. It's, I mean, or I should say it's not super <laughs> strict on how you can build things because you can see I put up a wall on that side and then attached, um, and it's even missing two parts there, but then I could attach the foundation for the second floor there and it stretches all the way across without really needing any other support. I thought that was kind of interesting. Actually, I wonder if you could... If I take that out, is the whole thing going to crash? What? Huh. Okay, I guess you can build floating structures. So long as you have something to start it off, so that was like the wall that I had on this side. Uh, apparently you can just build, build it out like that. It doesn't need to be supported in any way. That's interesting. I wonder if I should just remove all the walls then, because that just makes it easier to move around. I thought we needed the walls. It kind of makes the walls pointless then. Besides setting up the structure, right? It's an interesting part of the game. I wonder why they made it like that. But yeah, if we're not going to be using the walls, there's really no point to have them. What am I doing? Foundation. That'll make just, um, setting things up just so much easier. That's crazy though, because now like up on the second floor, we could, we could essentially build like an infinite workspace. You know, we can make it as big as we want because I could just expand it out over all this stuff. That's crazy. That is bonkers. Oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. One thing um, I am curious about is how to, because I've never pushed any material up onto another floor, so I know there's these lifts. I've never used one of these. How does that work? But can this connect to just any line? Like if I bring this all the way out to the end, let's just say we bring it all the way out to the end here. Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay. That's how you do it. There you go. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's finish building this up. And then we will go to the second floor. I don't think I want... I'm going to actually dismantle this. I don't think I want it coming out that far. Like, I don't like this part of the building. How it's on the hill. I might remove all of this. Since we do have so much real estate um, on the second floor, I don't think we need this. Yeah, by the way, all these extra parts. Oh, it's funny. Things just stay floating. Uh, I just dumped them there because I wanted to free up some space in my inventory. <laughs> That's all. So let's see. We'll do one more. And maybe leave it like that. Or should we just make it symmetric? Yeah, let's make it symmetric. Okay. Okay. So now this gives us room to make, um, to route all of these up. And I guess these could technically come out this way and up, and these could technically come out this way and up, but I haven't figured out how I'm going to organize that yet. Oh! Did not mean to do that. Are these the only ramps available? It would be nice if there were stairs. What if I built a lookout tower just so I can climb to the top of this thing? I don't like that. I can't look up to see where it would sit. See if we can jump up. Oh, that's sweet. That works perfectly. Here we are. Here's the second floor. And now you can see how much real estate we have. We might as well take full advantage of this. Um, it might be overkill, but... Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Like we could put some ramps here. <laughs> nice. This is going to create this like huge shadow over my base. Encroaching on what? The lookout tower? Oh. Well, we'll leave that open for now. Wow, this is so much space. It's, it's gonna be an eyesore though. <laughs> but very cool. Okay, so let's think about how we're gonna do this. So we. The iron plates are going to be coming up, and with the iron plates, we were making. We want to make reinforced plates. And actually, we probably want to work with uh, these first to get screws going. Because reinforced plates do require screws. The question is, how do we want these lines to look? So we can use a merger. And 
point it this way. We can use one right in front of this guy. No, it should be in the front. Be here. Oops. That one will feed there. And then we can have another one. For these two. That'll come to the edge here. I don't know if it has to be all the way to the edge. But I assume so. Then we can use the lift. What? You can even turn it? That's pretty cool. Okay. So we've got rods there. And we'll use our lift. Can we get to it from here? Yes, there it is. All right. It's tricky. I can't tell if it's like snapping onto it or not. That doesn't look right. I don't even know if this one's connected, is it? It looks connected. So this one should be able to connect too. Try that again. Why does it stick out so far? The other one didn't stick out that far. I must have built this differently. Or maybe I messed this up. Oh yeah, that wasn't connected properly. Whoops, dang it. Ah! Clicking way too fast. Just want to make sure that that's the correct height. Boy, building in this game can be real tricky. Yeah, that looks good. I also don't want to fall in this gap, so fill this in. Oh, we can't because there's no foundation. Approaching on oh the pole damn it 
Oh wait, we could have just put a foundation here. There we go. <laughs> That's so extra. This belt lift. Give it the same height. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, so we have two rod rod lines, I think. Um We'll have those feed into a few constructors. Splitter that will feed into these two. And these two will be making screws. Now we have the potential to make more screws, so um, we'll feed in rods here because we, uh, we yeah we are gonna need a lot of screws, but we can also you know make this go on. Actually, yeah we can we can use another splitter here and have an accumulation of rods up here. Because we, we do also need rods. Uh, I just don't think we need as many rods as we typically would need screws. But we could always put some of these machines on standby as well to collect more rods. So... I'm just trying to think of how to create like an overflow. If we have an overflow, or oh, screw it. We'll just, for now, just do. That, sorry, a splitter. That'll intake from there. And be able to split. Oh, no, that's not going to work. can't make that turn either. Okay, maybe we need to move this back. We'll just move, we're going to move all of this up more. I know it's annoying, but that actually makes more sense. We're going to do a skip another line because then we'll have more room to play with.
pick four of these. And actually, yeah, what we can do is create an overflow box here. Or, yeah, I don't know what that'll look like yet. Maybe we won't put it up. But what we will do is create a splitter here. And uh, maybe we'll do it this way. Feed a belt into that end. One into there. One into there. And this one to a storage box. I know it's kind of looking silly, <laughs> but for now, this is all I can think. Oh, that actually made my feet tingle. So yeah, we'll have this storage box for rods. And that's just going to be our overflow for rods. So when those two aren't going, um, we'll have the overflow into the storage box for rods. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to make another splitter. That's going to feed in this way. But it's going to have to sit further out. That's going to look a little different. Let's see if that's too tight. Oh, that's way too tight. Yeah, I think it just has to sit further out this way. That might be doable. Yep. Yeah. That works. Then that'll come around to another storage box. All right, there we go. Uh, we need to route power up here. Speaking of power, oh, that's not even connected. Let's just see how we're doing on the line. We have plenty of room. Don't know what this stray guy's doing out here. Really hate the way this looks. I feel like there should be one independent pole here. That'll connect to that line. This 
well as that line. And... This one of these, maybe that one, can route to second floor. That's interesting. How you can mount it to like the edge of the platform. So we want it on top because it kind of looks better. Or actually, that's not bad. We'll run this all the way down. This is just going to be our skeleton for wiring. And uh, from this, we'll create one pole. We're going to need at least two here. So if I put one down, yeah. So we'll put one here. That'll hook these two up. Then it'll come down in between these two. And hook up to these. Okay, did we just down the whole power line? No. Why are these not getting power? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Got our screws producing. Let's go examine these bottlenecks. Wait a minute. Ooh. Why is this one giving so much more? It's a little bizarre. What the heck is this bottleneck? Why is this not even running? That's weird. That must have not connected properly. Oh yeah, it's because we ended up putting the merger down when these belts were already down, and I guess I didn't connect it well. But now it's going. Let's uh, make sure that we don't have any bottlenecks here. So we have 15 rods per minute. 15 rods per minute, so each of these lines is carrying 15. Uh, the MK1 belt has a capacity for 60 a minute, right? Yeah, so there should be no bottleneck. That should be a constant flow. And then let's make sure that the lift matches. Yeah, 60 per minute. 
so we're okay. Now, if we overclock any of these, then we are gonna have to upgrade these lines to MK1, MK2s. But for now, it works. Um, and then how fast do these go? 40 per minute. So this is using up 40 rods per minute, so it is using them faster than it's receiving them. I think, right? 40 per minute. This is being split down to 15 per minute. I'm sorry, no, it's split three ways. It's even less. But why is it... Oh, it's making four screws at a time. My bad. It's making four screws at a time. Oh my god, this math's killing me. Um... Then it's using 10 rods per minute. So it's using 10 rods per minute, but they're coming in at um, I don't even know. I wish you could like see how fast how the throughput, you know, at each point. You, I wish you could see the throughput of this belt because it's hard to to think about it in my head. I, I think this is coming at 30 per minute, but it's being split three ways. So it, yeah, so these should be 10 per minute. So it's actually exactly matched, but why does it look like it's accumulating? It is accumulating. That's strange. I don't get that. <laughs> but whatever. All right. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Now we can get the plates up here and uh, make the constructors face uh, that away so that we can get some reinforced plates going. Ah, we need cables. But, um, yeah, why don't we get the belts routed up here first? So we have two plates that we can merge. Yeah, we could actually merge them. Or should we bring them up separately? Maybe we should bring them up separately. Just so that we have a little wiggle room with the throughput. We need a ramp over here. stretch this out no we need a we need the belt to come out ah we can raise this tricky
Oh, there we go. That's matched. I'll take this out. And do that for the symmetry. No, I didn't mean to fall. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize how late it was getting, so that is a lot of progress for one episode, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, we got the rods, two lines of rods going up to the top, to the second floor, and four constructors currently making screws from that as well as some overflow for rod collection and uh, we're going to route the plates up in the next episode so that we can make some reinforced plates amazing i'm so glad we got like the second floor running already um yeah that's gonna do it for this episode Thank you guys again so much for watching and I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, make sure to drop a like on this video. And if you're new here, check out the entire playlist for all episodes of this playthrough series and subscribe for future content. Thank you guys again and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.